Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is a grocery haul, so stay tuned if that's your kind of thing. All right, so I am, it is about 10 a.m. right on the dot. I have a couple of pickup orders today. I have Walmart, which is where I'm at now. I have a Target drive-up order and a Kroger click list pickup order. Um, so that's what I'm doing today is picking all those up and then I'm gonna take y'all back to the house with me and we will share with you everything that we got. We have quite a few like non-food things today. So um, we're a little over budget, but budgeted for what we planned, if that makes sense. So from what I see on the order receipts, not much was out of stock. So that's pretty cool. Um, not many substitutions and what they did substitute for, for the most part was perfectly fine. Um, there was like a candy that was out of stock for movie night um, at Kroger. And so I just, did, I, they didn't have a substitution for that one. So I skipped those, but otherwise like any major things. I think between all four, all three stores, there was only like three, maybe four things that were out of stock. And I've got a pretty big order overall today. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, so it's 10.02. I'm gonna wait on them to bring out my order. Then I'll run over to Kroger, pick up that order, run over to Target, pick up the drive up order. I've gotta go get gas and go to the bank. And then I will see y'all back at home and I'll share with you everything that we got, what we spent, and our meal plan for the week. All right, so I am home. We had some lunch and uh, stopped and got Chick-fil-A because isn't that what you do? You buy a lot of groceries and then you buy food because you're like, I don't want to cook, right? No. Okay, just me? Glad, glad I'm alone. All right. <laughs> Surely not, right? Surely not. Okay. Anyways, total's going to pop up on the screen for you. It was probably with the thumbnail. Um, I know we spent right at our $180 budget for groceries, but I'm not sure what the total was with the non-food stuff that's not in our grocery budget thrown in there. Um, there's a, What you don't see is there was a sleep mask I bought my husband because trying to sleep during the daytime is very difficult. Okay, so you saw the total, um, either on the screen or in the thumbnail, you know, one of those things. You saw the, the total. And so if I think of anything else that's not here on the table, I think everything is though, I'll let you know. And I also wanted to let you know, you can link your Ibotta account to your um, Target and your delivery accounts and your Walmart pickup, all those things. And so I did that. And so there will be a little bit of cash back coming. If you've never signed up for I bought it, y'all, it is the easiest thing to do, especially when you link these accounts with like Target online for their pickup and Walmart's pickup and stuff. I mean, you just can't beat it because you don't have to do anything. You don't have to submit a receipt, nothing. And I bought us getting smarter, in my opinion. This is not sponsored by them, by the way. I just like to tell y'all how to save money. Um, but they have improved their software. So whenever you even scan a receipt, I'm finding I have less and less things that I actually need to scan the barcode of. I just take a picture of the receipt. So that's pretty awesome. So if you've never tried Ibotta, I will leave a $10 code down below for you. If you sign up using that link, using that code, you get an extra $10 whenever you sign up and redeem your first rebate. So even if your first rebate is 10 cents off, and you get 10 cents back in your Ibotta account, you're gonna get an extra $10 just because you use that link. And then you only need $20 to cash out on Ibotta, which is great. They have tons of gift cards, PayPal, and directly to your bank account, whichever that you prefer. So anyways, um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, and if you've never tried Walmart pickup, or delivery, there's, as always, a 10 off 50 coupon code for y'all um, or link down below in the description box. So check those out. I'm also going to submit receipts to Fetch Rewards. There's a link for that. I think an extra $2, which is like 2,000 points. All that to say, all of those links are always down in the description box for y'all. Let's stop talking and get into the grocery. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to remember prices. Y'all know that's like my freak talent. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But I'm going to do my best, and I'll try to tell you where things are from and how much they cost. Okay, green onions. These were from uh, Target, 99 cents. 99 cents for, for an English cucumber at Target. 
And um, this is a much better price than any of the other stores, even in Walmart. $3.99 for a three pound bag of cuties. That was also from Target, Good and Gather. Uh, Gala Apples, oh, oh, Target Circle. If you have a Target account and you have the Target app, you need to be involved in Target Circle if you are not. Because right now, all the Good and Gather products, you can save $5 off when you spend $25. It came off instantly. There's another free item I got as well. You, lots of savings here, so you need to check that out too. Um, but anyways, three pound bag of apples. I think this was $3.39 for the Gala Apples, three pounds. But it was part of the spend 25, save five uh, coupon. So it was even cheaper than that. I don't know what it all breaks down to. From Walmart, I got a cantaloupe. Um, it was $2.19, I think. I ordered four of the large Honeycrisp apples from uh, Kroger. They were like a dollar a piece. Um, I think they were $2.27 or two something a pound. But anyways, I ordered four. I had to chunk one because it was just like all rotted here in the middle, but it's fine. Um, two bunches of cilantro for 89 cents each from Kroger. This was a substitution. They were at a regular cilantro. So for the same price, they subbed the organic, which is awesome. Two green bell peppers from Kroger. These are teeny tiny, but they're in good condition. So they'll be fine. We're just gonna chop them up, I think for eggs and veggies this week. And so those were 69 cents each. Two limes from Walmart. These were 60 cents each, which has definitely gone up. $1.28 for this hilarious four pack of celery sticks. Now, I don't actually need these pre-packaged. I just wanted the smallest amount of, um, of celery that I could get for the cheapest price. And this was only $1.28 from Walmart. I'm making chicken salad. So I put celery diced up in my chicken salad. And otherwise, you know, the girls might snack on it with some peanut butter like once, but it's just not a thing that we love to eat on its own. So that's why I got that ridiculously small amount. Okay. <laughs> Baby cut carrots. Again, part of the good and gather. Spend 25, save five deal there. And this one pound bag was 99 cents from Target. $3.50 for two pounds of strawberries from Walmart. That was the best price in our area. This silk almond milk yogurt was free when you bought a silk almond milk. And I'll go ahead and show you the almond milk. It's regularly $2.99, but I had a free any half gallon of silk almond milk from Kroger that they had mailed out that coupon to me. So that was free. And I just went on ahead and got the yogurt because it was free as well. I think I had originally ordered the vanilla, but they gave me the peach as a substitute, which is totally fine. $3.99 for the Parmesan cheese. This is the Simple Truth Organic from Kroger, five ounce container. And I had a 50 cent off one e-coupon, so it was $3.49. And that was cheaper than the non-organic, so that's why I got that. $1.49 after the mega event savings. Mega event sale at Kroger right now is buy any six or more participating items, say 50 cents off each item. So that made the country crock $1.49 for that. We pretty much only use that for like grilled cheese and stuff like that. So I don't need it very often. $2.29, Good and Gather mozzarella. We're going to make our own cheese sticks. That's the plan. And so I got that from to kind of finish off the $25. I thought that would be a good way to do that. Um, what else? $3.39 each at Kroger for the four pack of the Danimals pouches, strawberry flavor. Excuse me, the girls really enjoy those. And in my monthly coupons that get sent out from Kroger, I had 70 cents off of one of those. So that was an even better deal. $2 off or $2 for the Simple Truth chocolate almond milk. And I got that one because I also had a 60 cent off one any Simple Truth almond milk. So that one ended up being $1.40 and then the other one was free. So that's why we have two different kinds. I ordered the flaky jumbo biscuits again this week. They had to substitute those for the butter, the just the jumbo buttermilk. Totally fine, $1.19. $1.19 for a pint, yes, a pint of buttermilk. And we are good through July 6th, so that's good. Okay, uh, that was from Kroger as well. And then I got the Sister Schubert sausage wrap rolls to stick in the freezer. We'll either use that for 
something to go with breakfast this weekend or if we don't eat it this weekend we'll just kind of keep it in there hanging out but it was like 329 at Walmart the Oscar Mayer deli meats the nine ounce packages I think it was 249 they were on sale for with a digital coupon you could get up to five so I got one of just the oven roasted turkey breast and two of the carving board oven roasted turkey breast I'm really liking that for lunches for myself Grapes at Kroger were 99 cents a pound, so I got about two pounds. I think it was 2.07 pounds, they said, of red seedless grapes, and so they were 99 cents a pound. Um, so that was a really, really good deal, and I use grapes in my chicken salad, plus the girls and I just like to snack on grapes. Um, what else? The Fudge Bars, the Great Value brand, is 12 bars. There's 12 bars in there and it was like a dollar, I think it was only like a dollar 28 or something like that. It was really inexpensive at Walmart. And then these were $2.99, the orange cream bars from the favorite day, the store brand at Target, just to replenish some dessert stuff for the girls. You know, summer is really ramping up now and popsicles are always a great thing to have. Anyways, Louisiana tea, $1.99 at Kroger on sale, plus I had a 50 cent off one e-coupon, so $1.49 for 24 family size tea bags. And then this was $7.28 for, for 24 cans of Pepsi from Walmart, so I picked that up. $2.99 for a gallon of Milo's tea from Kroger, $2.69 for a gallon of milk. We still have another one in the fridge. That was also from Kroger. 77 cents for the great value. Okay, I think we got a little quieter in here. Uh, 77 cents for the Great Value Saltine Crackers. And then with my lunches, I wanted some of these mini premium uh, saltine crackers. It was $2.36 for that box from Walmart. Uh, the Cheez-Its were on sale, I believe $1.99 a box after that 50 cent savings from Kroger. So the Cheez-It boxes, this is the 12.4 ounce. Those were, in fall, those were included in that mega event. At Kroger, I got two Kool-Aid Jammers. Dever, seven, I, at Kroger, I got two Kool-Aid Jammers for $1.79 each. And I just got the 10 count of grape. Pizza is trying to fall back there, but that was also another digital coupon deal. But we just needed one. So I got one Classic Crust Four Cheese Red Baron Pizza for $2.49. And what else? Two hint water from Kroger. They were a dollar each. That's the pineapple. The Kroger bread is on sale for a dollar a loaf this week. So I got a honey wheat and a white. And then I had a dollar off two coupon that Kroger had mailed me. So they were 50 cents each, right? Something like that. Yeah. Sourdough from Walmart. This was a dollar 84. And this sourdough is really good. Um, it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup or anything like that in it. And we really like it. So we're on a big sourdough kick right now. And so that's what I got f that for. For sandwiches, chicken salad sandwiches, all that good stuff. Brioche, hamburger buns, four count. This is from Target. They were $2.49. And then the Lenders bagels, $1.79 from Target as well. I had ordered the Heritage Farms, the Kroger brand. Um, whole chicken for 99 cents a pound, but the Purdue, I guess, is all that they had. So they substituted that for the same 99 cents a pound price, which is great. Uh, this is from Walmart. This is the cheapest place to get it, aside from Sam's right now. Um, Applewood smoked, right brand bacon. If you've never tried this bacon, you have to. It is okay, so delicious. if you've never tried the bacon, you absolutely have to. It is delicious. It was $9.98 for the one and a half pounds, which is outrageous, but I really wanted some bacon this weekend. And what else? These ham hocks. Um, I will actually freeze two of these and use one, but I'm making pinto beans, so I needed that. Um, what else? $2.50 for the Kroger brand traditional sausage patties. The Kroger brand Heritage Farms chicken breast, the boneless skinless, was $1.77 a pound this week. So I got two of the family packs of that. And then I don't know what happened. We have some like duplicates here, but um, 
that's what happens when you're trying to order from multiple stores, I guess. So we still have that popcorn from last week, of course. We're going to have popcorn for a long time, but um, we are doing family movie night again. So I got everybody a candy and then we have popcorn and we're going to make a pizza. So just a snacky dinner while we watch a movie. So 88 cents. Some of these were a dollar. Some of these were 88 cents, depending depending on the one I can't remember. So we got a regular M&M's, two peanut M&M's, a Milk Duds, and two Skills. So we'll have definitely extra because, like I said, I only needed four things. A uh, dollar 19. This was from Target for the ground. No, this is from Kroger for the ground black pepper. Two twenty nine for their Monterey Jack queso, uh, just for snacking to stash in the pantry. Two for a dollar, so we got two of them. The Kroger brand of Vienna sausages for my husband. Two fifty eight for the three pack of the Velveeta cheese sauce. I have lots of noodles plus the vault noodles, so um, I didn't want to buy like. This is the same packet of cheese sauce that comes in like the Velveeta deluxe shells and cheese, and so I like to have that on hand. And Walmart's the best place to get it. Um, fajita seasoning mix, sixty three cents each. No, 60 cents each for the three of them from Walmart. And the great value is our favorite. This was 99 cents after the mega event sale with that 50 cent savings, the Gardettos. I actually got this because it was cheaper than buying the big bag of rye chips. When we make our own Crispix mix, my husband really likes the rye chips. So we'll just add this into our mixture there. Now, I bought an inordinate amount of chips. Which I wasn't planning on buying any this week. Well, I was planning on buying one bag of plain potato chips. However, here's what happened. With the mega event, they are 99 cents each. Which is a good deal anyways. Cheaper than Aldi. Cheaper than Walmart. So, I was like, okay, we'll get a couple bags. Well, then I realized I had a dollar off to e-coupon plus a 70 cent off to uh, coupon that Kroger mailed me. So, it made them all like two of them were 50 cents a bag. Or two of them were 49 cents a bag and two of them were like 64 cents a bag or something. So I went on ahead and I got two plain ripples, one barbecue and one cheddar and sour cream. And we'll just put those in the extended pantry so that they don't get eaten up. Because, you know, if chips are laying around, they get eaten around here. Um, the Orchetti, I think that's how you say that. Um, these little ear shaped pasta. This is the Hemispheres brand. Again, I had an 80 cent off coupon and they were on sale for $1.50. So I only paid 70 cents for this cute little pasta and we haven't tried the other one, but I mean, it'll be fine. Those are gonna be cute and fun one time. So I like to stock up on those random little deals when we see them. So I always encourage you, if you have a Kroger or Kroger affiliate, to check your app and load any coupons because you never know when things might go on sale and make a good deal. Now, this is not really a good deal, but I have been wanting it for a very long time. And for some reason, um, one of the side effects of the pandemic has been that great value radiatory pasta is like non-existent. It, they haven't been stocked in like a year and I can't find it. And it's not just our Walmarts. I've checked both that are in like 15, 20 minutes of us. But my parents, even in Alabama, haven't been able to find it. I don't know. So, at Walmart, a one-pound box is like 85 cents. But here at Target, they do... This is the only place I've found that around us that carries the radiatory shape. And it's their Good & Gather signature. So, this did apply to the, um, say, $5 off 25 So, I guess it made it a good deal. Um, they were $2.99 each for each pound. So I did get two, and we're gonna put them in one of those canisters. Five twenty nine for the apple cinnamon twelve pack of applesauce pouches, and again, it's Good and Gather from Target, so it participated in that. Spend twenty five, save five. I needed two more, or I wanted two more of the food storage canisters. These are great. If you've never tried them, you really should. They're the mainstays brand from Walmart. They are one gallon containers and they are awesome. Um, they hold up really, really well. Uh, this was the only substitution from Walmart. I ordered the Great Value Arm & Hammer baking soda for 67 cents. They substituted the Arm & Hammer. So of course that's great. And these containers, I don't know if I said that, these are like 3.36 or something like that, $3 and some change. 
$2.99 for these fruit and veggie berry blend fruit strips. And there's 10 in here. They were $2.99 from Target. They are also part of that spend 25, save five. $1.99 for the Market Pantry mayonnaise and $1.59 for their Market Pantry diced jalapenos. So we got those and this is from Walmart. I got the body powder spray. It's like $4.98. This bottle was one of those things that's free. We are, look, we are like nowhere near still being in a bottle season of life. However, when Target gives you a free Target Circle coupon for a free bottle, you pick it up when you know lots of people that are having babies. So yeah, this will eventually go into someone's gift or we will donate it um, to like the pregnancy center or something like that. So totally free. Like it came off. I, it's not like a rebate where I had to pay out of pocket and then it was free. It was totally free. So we got that. I think it's normally like $5 for this one. I don't know. This is something new that they did not have when mine were little, but hey, we'll go with that. Um, I've actually had ordered a different bottle brush to clean our water bottles. Um, this is something that we still use, but I had ordered like the sponge type ones that I normally buy, but they didn't say they substitute. I don't know, but either way, this is fine. Um, we just need it to clean water bottles, so I'm not picky. So that was $2.99 from Target. $3.29 for a dish brush. I needed that for doing dishes. And this was $9.98. This is again not included in our grocery total. But I needed a cold compress to put uh I'm having I don't know. Just we need a, a big one. So I got that. This was a two-pack of masks. We're still, you know, needing those sometimes, and we needed some new ones for my oldest daughter. So I got this two pack of the Cat and Jack ones for $5. They are reversible and adjustable. So, you know, pretty cool. Um, the Pet Armor Plus, again, this was a very large amount of the purchase and it was like $55 or $50 plus tax, whatever. But this is the Pet Armor Plus for large dogs, six doses, and this does work as well as Frontline, in our opinion. We have used it before. And it's the flea and tick prevention. And then this was $2.98, I believe. Or three, no, three something. But it was like a gallon of windshield washer fluid with the bug remover. Uh, my car is low on that. So, I got that and my husband's going to fill that up for me. Okay. Let me okay, so that's all I've got for y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. You saw our total. You saw everything we got. Don't forget to check out those links down below if you want to check out Ibotta or Fetch Rewards or save 10 off your first $50 purchase of Walmart pickup or delivery. And um, what else? Make sure you're checking for those coupons and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm going to pop up a picture here of our meal plan. And so that's what we're having this week. That's kind of the plan. It may deviate a little bit. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping for a smooth week, but things always seem to get a little crazy around here lately. I don't know. But anyways, that's all I've got for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you're new. Please introduce yourself. I love getting to know y'all and chatting with y'all in the comments down below. And if you're not new, but you've just never said hello, please do that. I love talking to y'all. And as always, let me know what you're having this week, where you're shopping, what amazing deals you found, and just overall how you're doing. I love connecting with y'all in the comments. So until next time, I'll see you in the comments down below. Bye-bye.